You see, you were focused on the pie-in-the-sky attitude of some network marketing organizations. The truth is it was a hell of a lot of work to get next to no registrations. And I could tell that, but the reality was you didn't want to listen about that. And because you didn't want to listen about that, you kept working it. We kept doing it. We kept doing the shows. We kept doing the evening events. But we weren't getting paid to do that. But I stood there with you when your third, second person, your third person who had money and was capable, wouldn't show. And so we just made it the two-person show. We made some special events, but it wasn't working because those people that those people knew didn't have enough income. And it took a little while for me to assess what was going on because I was still new to the program myself, but it was too expensive even for me. And I let it go. But the mistakes you made were not listening to the upfront cash that could have been made working with me in marketing. You see, your attitude is how much could you possibly make. It said quite a lot, actually, with the right kind of salesperson. Much more than you'd ever make working your fucking hundred hours off in the stuff you do regularly. You see, the problem was you weren't willing to grow and you weren't willing to let go of your husband who you're trying to keep in the business and help him to make a show. Because you're always after what it looks like instead of what it is.